In this tutorial, we are going to be looking at another method of determining the amount of correlation between two given scores, x and y. We are going to be using the ranks of the scores instead of the actual scores. And this method, this method is called the Spearman's coefficient of rank correlation. This is a very popular method of finding the coefficient of ranks and it's given by rk equal to 1 minus 6 summation d squared divided by n bracket n squared minus 1. So this is the formula for finding the coefficient, the Spearman's coefficient of rank correlation where d is given as the difference between the pairs of rankings. So let's look at an example to illustrate the Spearman's coefficient of rank correlation. In this example, we are given this course of students in an undergraduate text for two subjects, mathematics and chemistry. So we have 10 undergraduate students being taken and we have their scores for both mathematics and chemistry and we have to determine the Spearman's coefficient of rank correlation. First, the first thing we need to do is to arrange the scores in both subjects separately in descending order of magnitude so we can easily rank them. So I'm going to be picking mathematics followed by chemistry. So if we are picking mathematics first, we're going to have a table drawn for mathematics. So I'm going to have a table here drawn for mathematics, X and mathematics rankings. So this will be the ranking for mathematics and we have Rx. So what you need to do is to draw out all the scores on the mathematics in descending order of magnitude. So meaning that starting from the highest to the smallest. And if I go back to my mathematics scores, I have the max to be 90, followed by 86, followed by 76, Followed by 61. Let me bring this down. Okay, I have 53. 50, 49. If I scroll back up, followed by 38, 37, and 28. Seven and lastly, 28. So what I'm going to have here is to begin to rank them from first to the last. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this first two, this is their position according to the scores. This first to the first position, second, fourth, all the way to 10. If you count the number of students that have been taken, they are 10 in number 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So our scores will range from one to ten. So the same thing will be done for chemistry. Let me try to erase this. So this is Rx, and also for chemistry. This R Y. So I'm going to be listing out this course in chemistry also in descending of order of magnitude. So here I have 83, which is the max, followed by 80, followed by 67, followed by 60. Followed by 53, 52, 48, 47, 45, and lastly, 36. So here I have my scores for chemistry. So I'm going to be 
ranking them also. This is why. So we're going to be drawing out the ranking for chemistry. So we're going to have this. This is ranking for chemistry, which is R Y. So again, this is the first position one. Let me change that to one. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So here I have my rankings for both mathematics and chemistry. So we are not done. The next thing we have to do is to draw out a full table down that contains our scores arranged in the normal manner and the rankings. So to draw this out, I'm going to have my X, which are the scores for mathematics. And we are going to have Y, which are the scores that we have for chemistry. So this will be the ranking of X. We've gotten all this in the format table. And this is the ranking of y. So after that, we're going to be calculating d, which is simply the ranking of x minus the ranking of y. And lastly, we are going to be looking for the square. So let me draw 10 columns here to better illustrate it. So what we're doing is that we go back to our table which was given the question, I'm going to be listing out mathematics score the way we are being given. So starting from 53 to 49. So this is 53, 38, 61. So I'm going to scroll back up. It's 6, 28, 86, 28, 76, 50, and 90.37 and lastly 49 so these are what we are giving in the question and also for why which are the rankings for chemistry so here we have 48 so this is 36 this is 67 so we have 47 53 80 45 F 83, so according to our format table where we draw out the rankings for each of these course so we now have to trace it back and put our ranking in the right number so for x 53 takes the rank of 5 so i've just come down and put 5 over here so i'll still scroll back up and check for 38 so 38 takes on the rank of it so I'll come down and put it in. So the same thing for 61. So if I check this one, it takes on the rank of 4. So I'll come down and put 4. Then 86. 86 takes on the rank of 2. So I'll come down and put 2. So I'm going to be doing the same for R, X, and also R, Y. So after that, I'm going to be calculating the difference between R, X, and R, Y and find the square. So I'll just go on and fill out this old table now. So with this, I have my Rx and my Ry. So the next thing to do is to find D, which is simply the difference between Rx and Ry. So 5 minus 7, this is negative 2. Again, we have negative 2, 8 minus 10. 4 minus 3 is 1. Negative 6, 5, 1. Negative 3, 0, 3. And lastly, 3. So finding D square, this is 4, 4, 1. 36 519099. So if I go back to my formula for finding the Spearman strong correlation coefficient, we have that RK equal to 1 minus 6 summation D square over N N square minus 1. So from the question, we know that N equal to 10, which is the total number of students that we are giving. So the next thing is to find D square. Summation of this square. So if you sum all this together, this are uh, this square rule. If you sum all this all this together, we're going to have the summation of this square to be equal to 98. So you just have to substitute n and summation this square into our formula 
to get this payment's coefficient of rank correlation. So I have my RK to be equal to 1 minus 6. Multiply by summation d square is 98. Divide by n, which is 10. And n square 100 minus 1. So yeah, I have this to be equal to 1 minus 588. So 100 minus 1 is 99. 99 times 10 is 990. So and this is the same thing as having 1 minus 0 0.5939. So after dividing 58 by 990, and lastly, I have RK to be equal to 0 0.41. So that's how you can calculate this payment's coefficient of rank correlation. So don't forget uh, that the main formula that we look at was RK equal to 1 minus 6 summation d square over n, n square minus 1. And this is the formula we are going to be using at all times to calculate this payment's coefficient of rank correlation.